Hello and welcome. Janet Beckers here with your wonderful web TV tip for the day before Christmas. When I was deciding what I was going to make this video about, because you know, day before Christmas it should be something special. First of all, I was trying to rope my children into singing a song for you. We were, you know, or maybe I'd put on silly hats or I'd do something really, really Christmassy and fun and cheerful. And then I thought, what do I really, really want most for you today? And I thought that's what I'd share with you today, is what I truly, truly hope for you. And that is, I really, really wish for you to totally, totally unplug for a week. Totally forget about everything that's out there, all those responsibilities that you've got, all those dreams and working towards things, all those to-do lists. I just really, really wish for you to just allow yourself to shut out and to just focus on being and focus on the people around you and focus on yourself you know at this time of the year we can get a little bit crazy and for women especially we do tend to take on extra responsibility at this time of the year no matter how good you may be at delegating to everybody else around you quite you're the one delegating usually that is still all that stuff that's happening in your head and tomorrow for most people it's all going to finish so the the climax is over and you'll get a chance to just relax and eat an amazing amount of leftover food. Now, you know, for whatever reasons, whether, the, you know, Christmas also brings up times when there may be other things happening in your life that you're not really that happy about and Christmas can put those expectations on you for everything to be perfect. So that's my wish for you, just to enjoy being and to really focus on the things that you are really grateful for, the simple things in life. And if you allow yourself that week to just totally unplug, nobody's expecting too much of you this time of the year anyway. So just allow yourself to regenerate and be and just reflect. And next week I'm gonna be sharing with you an activity that I do every year at this time of the year that allows me to take that feeling and to be able to hold it for the rest of the year. So. What I'd like to hear from you is, what is it that you are most grateful for at the moment? Look, looking back over the past year, what are you truly, truly grateful for? I'd really like you to share that below with me and with everybody else that's listening and see if we can just grab hold of all those things that we can just hold on close and say how wonderful it is. So, let me start. What am I most grateful for at the moment? Well, I'm incredibly grateful that I have a lot of love in my life. I have a lot of beautiful people in my family, uh, my children, my husband, my extended family. I have a lot of friends. I have you. I have a lot of love in my life. And for that, I'm incredibly grateful. And I'm also incredibly grateful for great health for myself and for my family. And especially so, most of you may not realize that, you know, not that many years ago, I was very unwell. I often had to walk with a walking stick. I, you know, I had amazing lack of energy and to do really active things was not an easy thing to do because I had really, really swollen joints and knees. And this year I've been able to get my Surf Life Saving Bronze Medallion and I've been able to start running and um, all of these wonderful fitness things that I've been able to do. So I am especially grateful for health. Um, these are just the simple things that I am very, very grateful for. And I'm also incredibly grateful to the wonderful community that has developed around wonderful web women. And, you know, we just seem to be attracting every day more and more really wonderful, caring, passionate and high integrity people to our community and that's you as well so I'm incredibly grateful for that so there's three big things that I'm grateful for at the moment so I'd love you to share down below as we come towards the end of the year before you totally unplug for a week is I'd love to hear what you're grateful for as well and as always I wish you a Merry Christmas bye